Welcome back, Kerbal Knots. So today I'm going to just answer a quick question. There's something that sounds a little bit counterintuitive that uh, has been asked. And that question is best illustrated by demonstrating. So the question is, is why does it take more fuel to get into geostationary orbit than it does to leave? So we'll test it out on curve and the same principle applies on Earth. What happens when we try to leave? So how much do we actually need? How much delta V? There we go. 930. Okay. Now geostationary orbit, it's geostationary orbit as they call it in KSP. A little bit hard to identify, but it's about this far out. It's significant ways out. Now, notice that we're already at 800 meters per second. We're at a sizable fraction. What happens when you try to roughly circularize this is... Uh, it's not actually showing the total amount of fuel, but between the two maneuvers, it will take more fuel than the original one. more fuel than the 930. Here, I'll put this around. Doesn't matter where it happens because we're in a completely equal orbit. Uh, why is it not showing the fuel? Well, okay, we're just gonna go ahead and do this maneuver as indicated. Uh, yeah, we can target And you'll see here, so notice that we have 221.40 here. It's just to test to see how long it's going to take us to fire. Wait just a couple of seconds. <sighs> Not even gonna take that long. Oh well. Tell you what, we're just gonna go ahead and do it now. Although I'm gonna lock on prograde and we're just gonna touch the orbit and we'll do this this way. Okay, so yeah, about 760 meters per second. That's about right. Now, let's kill this. See, it's about 400 meters per second to circularize. And just to make sure, that's significantly more than the extra 150 or so that it would have taken. Uh, this is pretty circular. So you can see that it takes quite a bit more and why this works is something called the birth effect that basically you gain more effect uh, you you there's a multiplier on your thrust when you're moving faster so if we go and zoom out here to the to our far point we'll find we're not really moving that fast only moving a couple hundred meters per second, so we've lost the birth multiplier. We're just kind of barely moving at all, just kind of drifting. And it takes considerable amount of speed to make it into geostationary orbit. And that's one reason. Now, one reason that I didn't show is any orbit to geostationary orbit from any spaceport except for possibly French Guiana, which is pretty close, will have some significant inclination that they have to remove in order for it to work right. The inclination takes a significant amount of speed. Now, if you're going and just leaving Earth, you don't need to worry about canceling out the inclination. And that will just add even more to this effect. 
The bottom line is, though, is it takes more fuel to achieve a geostationary orbit than it does to just leave Kerbin or Earth entirely. Uh, thank you much for joining me, and let me know whatever other questions you guys might have, and we will see you next time. Until then, keep on tracking.